Hey, what's going on everybody? So I'm in downtown Frederick, Maryland, here on assignment for work again, but have another great opportunity to check out actually one of my idols that I've been watching on the Top Chef series. I'm gonna go check out Brian Vitaggio's Vault Restaurant. So uh, finally sat down. Um, what I like about the ambiance is very well lit. A lot of artistic stuff here, and uh, chef's not here, but it's not a big deal. So um, I'm gonna go check out what the menu is involved. So y'all stay tuned. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> no, and yeah. yeah, that's good. I'll do the carrot okay. to start with. Um, I love octopus, so I'll do the octopus okay, that's a good next. Too. Yeah. I'm so intrigued about the salmon because it's a kale nori lasagna. I'll do that, and then I'll do a black forest. Thank you so much. So I got four courses. It's going to be a little bit over my budget, but I'm not really worried. So uh, this is really good. It's a lager, but it's a dark lager, so it's actually really tasty. And they have these beautiful breadsticks, fennel pollen, and sea salt. Funny story, when I used to work at the Allison in uh, Newburgh, Oregon, I used to make cracker with fennel pollen and sea salt, so uh, here it goes. Mm. Nice char. Look, 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 look at this char in the back. Really nice. So, the first bite, the rouge rouge. Oh, it's filled to the bottom. Look at that. Mm. Mm. Very light, very airy. I love the little frog bar flavor. Very good. So here's their second canopy. This is a uh, porcini chip with some uh, foam, a little bit of foam, and togarashi, which is a Japanese seven spice seasoning. So there we go. Mm. Okay. Yeah, you tell me what you like. Something maybe mm. yeah. you know. Medium plus body red. That was really tasty. I love how they manipulate um, the flavors of the porcini because it's almost like a twill. Um, the flavors there. The um, the cream that they made, um, I'm gonna find out what it was, but that togarashi and the, um, the the spring onion gave it a nice like pop for it. So it really good. So the next item is a uh, La Madeleine with a little bit of uh, caviar and some creme fraiche. Here's what it looks like. So here we go. But yeah, no, it's very exciting. It's so funny because like the Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. That was a beautiful one. So good, like nice and creamy, briny. The um, the mandolin, normally sweet, but this is savory. It's so good. Made out of chai. Really good. Okay, so the first course came out. It's the uh, carrot dish. Um, visually, lots of beautiful carrots. Perfect oblique cut. Carrot juice, some uh, crumble, and uh, here we go. Mm. This is a cold dish, so 
really, really good. What I like about these dishes all the time is that it's always visually striking before you even taste it. So, very good job. I know it's a lot of attention to detail. Very good job, guys. So, the um, second course came in. Uh, this is a um, octopus. You can smell the fish sauce caramel and the, um, I'm going to try the separate item. This is a bonito aioli. Yeah, very umami-like. It's not not too fishy. It has a nice smokiness. Um, beautiful twill and then a, um, a barley uh, rice on top of it. This is genius. This is really good. But let's dive into the, the octopus. Mm. Nice char. Mm. This is really good. So, on to the next course. So the entree came out, and it's a really beautiful, like deconstructed lasagna. Has a really nice uh, kale crisp. So let's try that. Mmm. Look at that crunch. And then the um, it's two pieces of salmon, and it has um, one long sheet of pasta. This pasta is cooked pretty quickly. Mm. Sauce is really good. Um, salmon looks perfectly cooked. You know what's crazy is that you're a really good cook if you can cook seafood perfectly. And this is an attest to it, so we'll find out. No, it's over, oh, it's yeah. actually like right in between You know what I like about this is that, you know, some people wouldn't serve the skin. Skin is perfectly crisp. The sauce is really light. It cuts through the um, fattiness of the fish. Mm, really good. So, almost towards the end. So, um... We're going to um, get ready for dessert, maybe a pre-dessert, so we'll see. Okay, so the last plating is a uh, black forest. It looks like as if you're in the forest, um, so we're going to go, we're going to dig right in. Mm. It's very savory, but not too sweet, which is really cool. Let's try the uh, ice cream with a little bit of the uh, soil. It has a cherry in there. Pretty clever. Let me try some of it. It's just chocolate that they manipulate and then they coat it with a little bit of uh, cocoa powder. So, really good dish. Gonna um, shut off the camera and then um, final thoughts on the entire meal. So, that was a fantastic meal. I have to say to Brian and his entire staff. Uh, Brian, I know you're not there. I know you're competing at the Top Chef uh, event. Uh, much luck to you, but very good experience, worth the money, and most definitely will try to come back for the tasting menu. Aside from that, signing off, I'll see you guys on the next video.